Here goes another one. <laughs> 1996 Suzuki something 500 <laughs> but uh, yeah needs a little a little cleaning up not too bad everything's stock two-in-one pipe uh, yeah the engine looks good no leaks need to clean up the pipes a little bit probably take them off and run a wire brush on them a little bit of rust up here i'll probably take this apart and uh wire brush everything just paint it black lights work headlight works yeah pretty good just just needs a little clean up so uh, it doesn't start yet. Needs probably needs a new battery, or needs the battery charged. But yeah, it's a it's a good one. I got a good deal on it. All right, I gave it a start, and uh, something's going on. It's leaking, leaking fuel. So I'm guessing the um, the gas float needle pin valve is stuck <laughs> so definitely got to pull the carbs out so that would be my first job to get this thing running uh, it does start and I gotta gotta hold the clutch in but anyway I don't want to start it again because it's leaking gas like a sieve. But it does turn, turn so that's good. It's uh, missing the high beam light. And uh, turn signal light is not working and the neutral light is out. So I've got to take it apart and uh, fix that. But, yep project ongoing all right I pulled the uh, gas tank off but I think <laughs> there's some problems um, with where the fuel lines are hooked up this fuel line is hooked up to the side of the this carburetor and it was just kind of loose it's there's no clamp or anything this was supposed to be hooked up here, and I'm just hooking it up here just to remind myself where I found it. Uh, I'm gonna have to check uh, some videos and maybe download a, a repair manual. But uh, yeah, uh, I think those two lines, and then of course this carburetor, it's missing a vacuum tube. If, if that's a vacuum tube line, I don't know what it is. All right, so I got the uh, bowls open. Here are the idle jets, and they look <laughs> brand new, actually. And the the um, float bowl needle cutoff needle looks eh, looks okay. I mean, it's not it's not totally disintegrated and the gaskets look good so i think what happened the drip or the leakage was that <laughs> whoever hooked up the petcock the fuel lines did it wrong and uh i'm gonna have to look at and, and the carbs look not bad not bad at all I, I do have to sink see you see a big gap there yeah, 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 this gap looks smaller than this gap, but other than that, um, they look good. Something weird is going on in that I cleaned the carbs, uh, made sure everything was functioning properly, bench synced it, and then I hooked up my IV bottle, and I started it, and 
it was like gasoline was coming out of this tube and filled up this pan down here then the only time i saw that happen was when i had a riding mower that had a solenoid on the fuel cut off and the solenoid was bad and it flooded the engine so i'm thinking that's probably what happened that the engine was flooded and that's what the leak was not from the carbs so i only have a little bit of fuel in there in the iv bottle and a whole lot more <laughs> came out of here so i'm guessing that's because um the engine was flooded so let me start it up again and see if anything comes out of this tube again slowed down so I'm thinking that it's purging all the all the uh, flooded fuel into the cylinder now um, I forgot I gotta plug the the, um, the vacuum tube on the car maybe I'll idle so maybe figured it out <laughs> um, this is the vacuum for the petcock and usually the the vacuum on the other carb is blocked off but this one apparently isn't and i even tried spraying it out with um carb cleaner and nothing you know uh, the carb cleaner shot back whereas when i shot carb cleaner into this one the carb cleaner came out the the uh the engine side so i figure well let's just give it a try and and uh, i put a blocked off hose on the uh non petcock carb and here's what happened <laughs> Temporarily and take it around the block. <laughs> 